And I also would like to thank Mr. Norwood Jewell for hosting the press conference today here at UAW Region 1C. At this time, I would like to turn it over to Mr. to Pastor Chris Martin, who will be talking a little bit more about why we are here. After Mr. Uh, Pastor Chris Martin, um, Pastor Randolph will come and he will share a little bit more about why we are here and what we're looking to do. At this time, Pastor Chris Martin. Thank you. We are here today and behind me you see a great coalition of pastors, union leaders, elected officials, and citizens at large of the city of Flint because we all stand together united for a purpose. Currently, our Michigan legislature has passed legislation that has allowed government to take over our cities, tax our pensions, reduce the earned income credit, raise our taxes, a tax collective bargaining, and other issues. Together, ignite and mobilize our community to be informed and to be educated about how we as responsible citizens of our city can effectively combat these issues in a way that will allow our voice to be heard. We will educate the city of Flint and its constituents on how we can stop the legislature from currently attacking our teachers' unions, roll back recently passed laws that have impacted teachers and other workers, protect our middle class, protect the rights of workers, protect our educational system, and make Flint again a city that we're all proud to live and habitate in. And habitate in. We've, we've gathered here today united for a purpose because it's going to take all of us, pastors and leaders, elected officials, organized labor, and the everyday citizen to come together and make Flint exactly what we know it can and will be. So with that, we have planned a series of educational sessions for every group and every association to come together and begin to hash out these issues. I can turn it over to Pastor Lewis Randolph, who will talk about our further initiatives. We're encouraging each one to lead a group to come together Tuesday at 12 o'clock at the Antioch Baptist Church, whereas we can talk together and become one united voice for the community of the city of Flint. The citizens of the city of Flint need to be informed of some laws that have already been changed in the land that they are not aware of. And we want to inform the community by coming together. It does not matter whether you are a group, small group, large group, NAACP, Nation of Islam, whatever group you lead, we want you to come together at the end of your church Tuesday at 12 o'clock so we can uh, unite and put a, together an agenda for the community. And then on the 28th of June this month, later on this month, we want to mobilize our city to come together with three to five, maybe 6,000 people to be informed properly of what's taking place in Lansing that affect every family in the city of Flint. And I'm asking and begging of every leader, of whatever group you lead, to be at the Antioch Church at 12 o'clock Tuesday, whereas we can talk together and be one voice for the city of Flint. Again, what's important for everybody to understand is that we are united for a purpose. We are no longer divided in the city of Flint. We are all standing under one umbrella. And that umbrella is to educate and to mobilize the citizens of Flint to all work together, like Pastor Randolph has said, so that we can effectively repeal and turn back legislation in Lansing that has continued to hurt and disenfranchise working families, voters, and other constituents of the city of Flint. Thank you again. At this time, we're back in the hands of Mr. Jericho Lloyd, UAW Region 1C. All right, at this time, uh, we'll, we'll open it up for uh, some questions. Uh, and so we'll do that uh, at this particular time. Any questions? Pastor, yes, how does that effectively repeal any decisions made in uh, East and Lansing? Well, we feel that the best strategy is to educate, ignite, and mobilize. In other words, there are many laws that have currently been passed through our legislature that the citizens of Flint need to know about. We're all confident that once they have been educated on these issues, that we will take necessary legal steps to make sure that certain legislation does not have negative impacts on our city. Are you talking about possible petition drives and that kind of thing? I don't think questions. Are you talking about the possible petition drives to repeal current legislation? Or what is we're talking about informing our community, and we're talking about 
bringing in other cities, Detroit, uh, Pontiac, Saginaw, Ben Harbor. We, we want to be one voice for the people of the state of Michigan, not just the citizens, but we want to first inform the citizen of the city of Flint what's really taking place down in land. There is also a collective bargaining initiative that, that we have uh, petitions collecting at this time to put an amendment to the Michigan State Constitution. So that's being worked on within the community and throughout the whole state. Uh, I believe that might have been one of the issues you're talking about. And Brother Rorick has another one he'd like to speak to. Thank you. As you're well aware, the Stand Up for Democracy uh, referendum group gathered enough petition signatures to present it for consideration by the Board of Canvassers. The Board of Canvassers deadlocked and refused to take an action, and Stand Up for Democracy and other plaintiffs took it to court, received an injunction, and were going to force it, and it wound up in the Court of Appeals. That case has been argued significantly, and at this time we await the decision <laughs> on what we call the font final resolve, on whether or not the lettering was sufficiently large enough to meet the intent of the public act. It is the feeling of stand up for democracy and, and virtually all the people gathered here that that is the most effective way to repeal legislation, but the most important way is to elect people to go to Lansing in Washington who don't pass laws that screw us over. And so as you heard uh, all that question from, from multiple uh, members of the not just about this coalition, it's not just about petition drives, it's not just about protesting, it's not just about rallying, uh, but it is uh, also about educating our community, uniting our community, because once again, we can't be effective, we can't make the change take place that we're looking for if we don't first come together and unite. So again, to answer your question, there are multiple, there are multiple facets to this coalition, uh, and, and, it, and, it, and it entails anything that will unite our community, mobilize our community, and educate our community. Thank you so much for being here today, and, uh, and we look forward to moving this coalition forward.